All right, welcome back. This will probably be the shortest tutorial out of all of them. Thank goodness, right? All right, in this particular one, we're going to be working with texture as an element. And what we're going to do is we're going to add just two textures to this particular page. So to get to this page, make sure that you've opened up the document uh, on the right panel, click on pages, come down to page seven, double click it, and that'll bring you here. And just to show you, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to add kind of a grunge concrete texture here in the background and then add a wood texture right behind the headline up here. Again, if you need to find the details about where to locate the file and how to place it, you can always go to your student guide. All right, so let's move this over here to the side. So, and I'm gonna close out my pages over here. Let's go up to view, and I'm gonna go ahead and change my view mode from preview to normal. And what I wanna show you is, you know, we talked about earlier, if you're going to be placing a graphic, you wanna make sure to use the frame tool. Well, in this particular case, because again, you're going to get a lot of practice with this in an upcoming lesson, I went ahead and placed these for you. But notice how the tools that we're going to be using or placing our textures in, our boxes, this has that X as well as this one right here. So this means we're going to be applying a graphic with inside this frame. So let's start off with the big one in the background. So click on it. To place a graphic, you're going to go up to File come down to place and then you'll want to choose um, the texture so go into the folder that I gave you and in this particular case we're going to apply the concrete texture so I'm going to select it and hit open it's going to process it and it's going to place it now whenever you're working with images they may come in and look a bit distorted or pixelated to help your document move a little bit faster typically the default is to process them at a low resolution that doesn't mean that's how it's going to print. It's just basically for your workflow. But if you want to see a higher version of that, go over here to your uh, with your object selected. You can come up to Object, and you can choose Display Performance, and then choose High Quality Display. And that'll tighten that up uh, quite a bit. Now, if you want to move the texture with inside the frame to move it around till you get it to just where you want it to, you can always come over here to your uh, Direct Selection tool. Okay, I always, you'll notice the shortcut key for this is A. I always say that direct selection tools for A is anal. So if you need to get anal with something specific, you want to use this tool. In this particular case, I want to be a little bit more anal about how I move my texture with inside this frame. So I'm going to choose it. With it selected, I can then come over here and then click inside the box and move my texture around. And you'll notice I see this brown line. That indicates that I'm use, I'm selecting the image with inside the graphic frame, not the actual graphic frame itself. And I can relocate it to any position that I want as I so desire. Okay? All right, but I'm going to undo that because you're going to get a lot more practice with that in a lesson coming up. All right, so let's go back to our selection tool, the black one and scroll up and let's select on this graphic frame behind the text, the tan one. Let's go up to file, go down to place. In this particular case, we wanna choose wood grain texture. Click on it, hit open. It's gonna process it and then it's going to apply it. And again, if I wanna view it in a higher display, object, display performance, high quality, okay? And again, if I wanted to move it around, I can go to my direct selection tool click on it then I can click inside the box and notice the hand tool and I can shift this image around till I get the texture that I want sitting where I want okay and you can feel free to move it around inside there I'm not gonna count points off for that go ahead and play with it if you like but anyway that's really it and that's how easy it is to apply those let's drop down to view uh, go back to my screen mode. We'll go into preview. Looks good.